Welcome everybody, welcome to volume one of New Tube. I'll be the host, James Havens, so uh, I hope you enjoy the show. Today we're gonna to go to Nagoya City Science Museum. It's gonna open early next year, and we're gonna be talking to uh, the chief of the planetarium, Dr. Noda, okay? So follow me, where's the planetarium? Whoa, there it is. The Nagoya City Science Museum. Averaging 250,000 visitors per year since it first opened its doors to the public in 1962, it's currently under renovation. Ah, this must be a picture of what it will look like when it's completed, huh? They say it'll be the world's largest. September 24th, 2010. The media was invited to see the new planetarium firsthand. The man answering the journalist's questions, that's Dr. Manabu Noda. I'd say his remarks on the planetarium are in heavy demand. <laughs> Popular guy. So we are here today with the chief of the planetarium, Dr. Noda. Hey, welcome to the show. Hey, we heard uh, that this planetarium that's going to open next year is going to be the largest in the world. Is that true? Yes, the dome size. It will be number one in the world. Diameter, 35 meters. So you say the diameter of the dome, 35 meters, this is going to be the world's largest planetarium. Which planetarium is currently number one? Actually, the current number one is also here in Japan, Ehime Prefecture. There's also one more in China, both dome size, diameter, 30 meters. So Japan currently also holds the world's largest planetarium, but opening early next year, Nagoya will have the world's largest planetarium. Japan having all these large planetariums, what's the reason behind that? <laughs> well, if the dome is too small, then the stars that you see inside the planetarium become very small. But we actually want you to go outside and look into the night sky and find the stars that you saw in the planetarium. For example, Sama Triangle, you see in planetarium, oh beautiful, you want to find, you go outside, you can't find, the sky too big. So how far are we actually able to see in this planetarium? Well, we tried very hard to put emphasis on what you can actually see with your naked eye. Our eyes, no matter how far you in the boondocks, how dark it is, we only can see up to magnitude, maybe six or seven. That's why we don't want to just show many, many stars that you cannot actually see. That won't be planetarium. You are not Superman. You are not Hubble telescope, right? So we only have the amount of stars that you can see on a perfect night, like about nine thousand stars really authentic so this planetarium being the largest in the world uh, would mean that the projection ball must be the largest in the world correct T tell us about the projection system well, to explain it simply, inside the star ball, there's a lamp, and then we have a plate that has the holes where all the stars and constellations should be, and then uh, we have the fiber optic cable, and the, the thicker the fiber optic cable is, the, the larger the star, the brighter, and the thinner the cable is, then it's the fainter stars, and it's something like that. But I'm sorry, uh, I'm not so sure, I did not, I did not make that. I see. Well, tell me, doctor, what is the difference between a, a foreign-based planetarium and, say, a Japanese planetarium? A planetarium in Japan and a planetarium in a different Asian country or America or European country. What, what would you think the main difference is? Well, I feel the foreign planetariums, they want to lecture about the stars, about the universe. But here in Japan, they don't want to listen to that. They want to listen to music, they want to relax and just look at the stars. Sometimes I just want to turn on the lights, maybe somebody sleeping or kissing or something, I don't know. But this is a science museum. So really, I think we should talk about stars sometime, and maybe I do that, sooner or later. But I'll be quiet now. 
Ah, yes, we were treated to a space show that day. And although it's hard to make out, one can actually see over 9,000 stars. Look, the Milky Way. Oh, it's hard to tell, huh? <laughs> ah, cheap camera. This is the constellation Orion. When we zoom in, you see that cloud? You can actually observe Orion's nebula. It <laughs> seems like we're really looking into the night sky. Should have brought my binoculars. No, better yet, we should buy a new camera. So would you say that you've always been interested in space, uh, stars, and planets uh, since you were a child? You know, I I've always uh, enjoyed uh, reading uh, uh, space books, space adventure. I'm in intrigued by space itself. So uh, how do you do? <laughs> You're not from space, are you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, in a grand sense. <laughs> I think so. We have to tell you the truth. I don't actually know why people are fascinated by space. But we live on a small planet, and we must ask ourselves, where do we come from? You may say, we come from Stork. But where did Stork come from? Where did it all come from? No, not on planet Earth, before planet Earth. We have to look for the answer in the stars. Sometime very, very long ago, before I was born, a big explosion, and then a dinosaur come, then they all died, and they become oil. But anyhow, we could all call space the first house that we were born in, I guess. <laughs> hey, do you have to go home sometime? <laughs> <laughs> and check out my old neighborhood, perhaps? <laughs> Okay, doctor, now you got me excited. So tell me when the Nagoya City Science Museum is going to open. When, early next year, when was it? Uh, March of 2011, rain or shine. So we could relax in the dark planetarium's atmosphere. It's cool, uh, very romantic. Maybe you could propose to uh, your future wife, you know? <laughs> Say, uh, you know, I used to live over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for your time, doctor. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, mark your calendars. March 2011. The world's largest planetarium will open here in Nagoya. Can't wait. New tube. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'm James Havens, and I'll be looking forward to talking to you again. We should buy a new camera. Okay, besides the, the size of the dome, uh, what? Go. <laughs> go there, go there. Well, well Mr. Noda, I, I realize that you're a doctor and you're the chief of the planetarium. What? Uh, go. Okay, doctor, now you got me excited. So tell me when the Nagoya Science City Museum, Science City Science, eh? Nagoya City Science, yeah? <laughs> <laughs>